Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. I know, you're thinking, what are we doing in the kitchen, and why is there a squash in front of us? But the title of the video is, How to Keep Bearded Dragon's Teeth Clean. How to clean them. How to keep them healthy. All of the above. Well, I guess we'll get into that, but I'm going to tell you one of the main things is, squash and it's also bugs so why don't we go this is a, a butternut squash this sucks if you've not worked with this before um, work with an acorn squash it's smaller it's easier but let's get into to what's going on so bearded dragon their teeth they have small teeth they're really sharp guys and they can get plaque they can get teeth problems just like us but there's also an, an easy way to prevent the teeth problems and to clean their teeth. And it's by feeding them crunchy things. That's right. Almost all bearded dragons that have teeth problems in the future, um, if you were to look at their diet, it's almost all diet related. Not, not always because sometimes they have some, some disease problems and there's nothing that they can do. We're going to scoop out where the seeds would be. Um, but most of the time, it's diet related. And it's because they're only eating vegetable greens, soft stuff. People are like, what? But they're supposed to eat vegetables. Uh, that's right, they are. And But they're supposed to eat dark greens. Um, yes, also correct. But they can't just eat dark greens. They must, they must, they must eat chewy things. This includes bugs, which is why normally bearded dragons that eat heavily a bug diet, unfortunately, are normally overweight. Not always, but, but normally overweight, but their mouths, if they're eating dubia roaches and crickets with those hard shells, their mouths, if you look at their teeth, although the dragon's overweight, they have healthy teeth it's it's kind of sad because it counteracts like you're, you're you're fixing one thing but you're ruining the other which is why feeding your dragon bugs even when it's adult especially dubia roaches but it can be another type of roach just something that's hard and crunchy uh, crickets are good too is is healthy for them so you can get around this though if you don't want to do bugs with squash which is really good it's healthy for them high in vitamins and uh, it's crunchy so it's really good for their teeth so I like to cut the butternut squash they can't eat the outside here you can try to cut this outside piece it's a pain in the butt you get a potato peeler and you know it's interesting because a lot of videos I see that people come in here they got their big knife they're about to take their finger off or they get a small knife they cut they cut through it all um, get your potato peeler and just peel it down you can just set it down no rush and you peel the squash off look at that simple not gonna you know be careful not to slice your finger but uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel the squash off, and I'll show you how to cut it up. And then I'll, we'll show you feeding it. All right, so this guy's all nice, and he's peeled up. He's good to go. I left just a little bit on this one, just again to show you guys. It's real simple. You just ving, 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 veni, veni, vici. You just peel it off um, until you get that lighter yellow color gone. And you've got mostly uh, <clears throat> nice, vitamin-rich, orange squash showing. So, yay. 
it takes me, <clears throat> now that I do it fast, about five minutes to prep a whole butternut squash. But if you've not prepped squash before, like I said, you can do acorn squash. And not only is this going to help clean their teeth, it's full of vitamins, got a good amount of moisture. Let me show you the head where I cut this from, the base. Um, hopefully you can see, yeah. Look at the, all of the water building up around the outside here at the top. It is just, it, I mean, it's oozing with vitamins, oozing with nut nutrition. It's so good for them. And then, like I said, okay, maybe it'll take you 10 minutes to prep the first one, get it all chopped up. But guess what? You chop it into the little bits I'm about to show you, put it in a Tupperware, put a lid on it, put it in the fridge. You got like two to three weeks, this stays good. So you can mix it in to their normal greens. So what I like to do is we cut this thing. Now, this is hard. This squash is very hard. And that's what we want because we want it to clean their teeth because when they eat something hard, it, it has to be basically grind up against their teeth. And it's going to help scrape off anything that's caught in their teeth uh, on the outside, on the inside, on the tops, etc. We want, we want all that gone. So we cut it into strips, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we take these strips and we cut them up. And what we want are little cubes like this. We do not want like this, although they could eat this and there's a high chance they'll eat this healthy. There's also a chance that they'll eat it and it will go down sideways or they try to swallow it whole. You know, they're not like us guys. They don't chew all of their food. Sometimes they chew their bugs, but they don't always chew everything. So we want to cut it up into these little cube type squares and uh, let them eat it. So I'm just going to cube them all up. So here's my pieces. Uh, and I just take everyone's food bowl. And I just put in some pieces, just like that. It's a good meal for them. You guys have to remember that bearded dragons, like humans, guys, you know, we have teeth, they have teeth. I know, shocker, you didn't know that. Um, they can have tooth problems. They can get, think about it, if they eat food, and in their case, sometimes bugs, uh, even those leafy greens that they have, and if particles get stuck in their teeth, they're not they're not brushing twice a day they're not floss i mean let's let's be real not not even all humans brush twice a day right they're not flossing you know in the morning and at night or really ever so it's up to us to provide natural floss so boom 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 here's my stuff everything gets a little mist of water then we come in with vitamin shake it around in there and we hit everything with some vitamin BAM 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 when we come back another notch BAM still people to this day want to know why I sprinkle Parmesan cheese on my bearded dragon food. Quick tip, guys. It's not Parmesan cheese. Okay, it's bee pollen. Let's go disperse these. Mongo, Archimedes, Phoenix, Johnny Cage, and Mr. Freeze. There he is. Psycho himself. Food. Show Psycho the food. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see what happens. Show Psycho the food. Can we get the camera inside? We can. Psycho. 
Oh god. Do I want to get my finger destroyed? See that chewing? That's what we want. Very good chewing. That chewing is cleaning his teeth thoroughly. Again, we know he's getting the vitamins. That's not a problem. But we're cleaning the teeth. I know you've got a camera right in your face. And right in your... The light is like right in your eye. I'm sorry. But I wanted to show them why it cleans your teeth. You get in there, they chew it, it goes down on the front, on the back, on the sides, and that's how we keep things clean. Alright, all right, I'm going to back the camera up. Johnny Cage is going to eat the rest of his squash, uh, but hopefully this tip, guys, has shown you guys how to keep a bearded dragon's teeth healthy and clean. Hard foods like squashes and also b hard bugs. Take care, guys. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.